the heart. Here we have the right atrium, also known as the right oracle. On this side is the left atrium, left oracle. And when we open the atrium, we see the pectinate muscles, which are only in the atrium. Then we have the then we have the right ventricle and then the left ventricle. And when we open it, we have the interventricular septum and then the trabeculae carne is this on the side, which over here would be um, Okay, and then we have the superior vena cava, and then we have the inferior vena cava, then the internal jugular veins are these two, number 17, the internal jugular vein, then the external jugular vein would be these two on the side, because they're the external and then internal. The brachiocephalic veins um, come off of the, the superior vena cava. So this one and this one are the brachiocephalic veins. The pulmonary veins are these four. Those are the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary trunk is this. The left and right pulmonary arteries. This one would be the this one would be the left pulmonary artery, and then this one would be the right pulmonary artery. The ascending aorta would be in this area. The aortic arch is here. The brachiocephalic trunk is here. Brachiocephalic trunk, and coming off of the brachiocephalic trunk, you have a a right common carotid, and here is a common carotid too. That one would be the left, and then you have a right subclavian that comes off of the brachiocephalic trunk as well. This would be the right subclavian artery. And then that would be the left subclavian. Eleven? Yes. And then moving on to the coronary circulation, um, you have the you have the right. Maybe it's easier. You have the right coronary artery, and then you have the marginal artery. And then the posterior, the posterior interventricular artery, number 27. Then you have the left coronary artery, which leads to the circumflex artery, and that lies in the coronary sulcus. Then you have the anterior, this long red one, the anterior interventricular artery that lies in the anterior interventricular sulcus. Um, the cardiac veins, you're going to have a coronary sinus. It's this big blue one here, coronary sinus, and that lies in the coronary sulcus. And then the great cardiac vein is this big blue one coming down. And then you have the small cardiac vein, 
which runs um, with the marginal artery. So it would be this blue one here. And then you have a middle cardiac vein or posterior intraventricular vein, which lies in the posterior sulcus. Um, now the heart valves. You have the you have the two. These are the two AV valves. This one is the tricuspid valve in the right ventricle. This is the bicuspid valve in the left ventricle. And then you have the chordae tendinae, sorry, or the cords. And on this side it would be these cords, the chordae tendinae. And then you have a papillary muscle, which this would be the anterior papillary muscle. And inside, you have a posterior papillary muscle. Um, and then you have two semilunar valves up here, which is from the, the pulmonary valve. This is the pulmonary valve. And then the aortic, the aorta, the aortic valve is in this section here because this is the aorta, so this is the aortic valve.